Well, hey there, everybody. Matt Kleskowski here, and I got a super, super quick, you can call it a tip. There, there's a little tip at the end of it, but this first part, it's kind of a public service announcement um, of a, a little thing that I, I've gotten like three questions on it this week. Um, in Lightroom, and it's been this way for, uh, gosh, as long as I can remember, but it's just for some reason, I've just gotten a lot of questions on it this week. So here's the thing. Do you see, and I'm going to zoom into it here. Do you see the, see the little lines? I'm inside of Lightroom in the library module. And if you see all these little lines and things in the sky here, if, if you're not familiar with what it is, it's called banding. Um, banding comes usually, a, we, a popular place that we see it is in the sky. Um, and it comes usually from a, a lower quality file. Um, sometimes it can come from looking at photos on a, a lower quality display as well. Um, but what you're going to see is, is you, you kind of see all those lines there. Well, if I go over to the develop module, watch what happens. Let's click on develop. Look, they disappear. So banding is gone. Breaking news. I, I'm breaking into my own video as me, um, because I realized something that whatever, whenever I export this video to a quality that's going to upload to Facebook or YouTube, guess what? The banding is going to come back. <laughs> so you're going to watch this and you're not going to see any difference between <laughs> library and develop, even though I am seeing a difference on the screen. What I did is I saved this uh, file. You can check a link in the description. Um, and you know, on the page where you're watching this, and, uh, and you can download, if you want to download, import this into your version of Lightroom and you can bounce between library and develop and see exactly what I'm seeing. You may have photos that do it. You may not. It doesn't do it on every single photo of a sky. Uh, usually the darker the gradation and the more, the wider the gradation, the more it happens. But anyway, that way, because <laughs> you will continue to watch the rest of this video and, and you will always see banding. So I figured uh, you should see what it looks like with and without it on your own computer. Why is it happening? It's because Lightroom in the in the interest of speed, Lightroom is showing you a, a a JPEG preview of your photo when you're looking at it in the library module. And that's actually a good thing because it keeps it keeps the library module moving pretty quick. Um, and so you can you know you can hit your right arrow key as you're going through your photos and um, you can get through them pretty quick. So it's a good thing, but because it's a lower quality JPEG preview, they're prone to this this look and this banding look that we have here. So just just understand again. That's why I called it a public service announcement. Um, just understand when you go over to develop, that's actually what you're seeing. You're not really working, or you're not. That's not the quality of your photo. Go to develop before you actually judge that photo and uh, let it build a better preview for you. Okay. Now one thing to kind of build upon that. So there's a preference here inside of Lightroom. This is where a little tip comes in. There's a little preference in Lightroom. You can go to the uh, Lightroom preferences. It's under the edit menu on a PC. And inside there, you're going to see under external editing, you're going to see we get some choices here. My suggestions are just keep the default. These are the defaults. However, some people have gone in here and changed this to some lower quality uh, settings. Let's change that one to sRGB. And uh, I'm just going to press Command or Control E, which is just a shortcut to photo edit in, going into Photoshop there. So I'm going to take this photo over into Photoshop. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So everything's good, right? Well, watch what happens. If I go and I try to save this as a JPEG, and let's go save it as a JPEG here, hit save. It's going to pop open a little dialog box here where we get some quality options. And if I start taking down my quality, notice how I'm bringing, give us a chance to render here. And I, you got to have the little preview checkbox on to be able to see this. Notice how I'm starting to bring that banding back into the photo here. Okay. That's because I took a low quality file an an eight bit lower quality version of my, my big photo. And I decided to open it up into Photoshop and then I decided to save it as even a lower quality JPEG. Let's go change our preferences here, change them back to where they were. And uh, the, the color space doesn't have as much to do with that bit depth here, especially if you think you're going to be doing work in your sky and you have a, a, a big gradiated sky like that, bit depth can become an issue here. And that's why you want to keep this at 16 bits. So we'll go photo, edit in, jump over to Photoshop one more time. 
flip over here and then I'll do the same thing, file, I'll go save as, and I will save this as a JPEG. Hit save, it's gonna open up that same dialog box. Notice even as I start bringing that quality down, okay, even as I start doing that, I'm, I'm not seeing the banding here. And that's because I started with a really high quality file inside of here. And that's that's really the main the main idea, the main point behind this is number one, lets you know what what that what that is inside of Lightroom and why you're gonna see it in library and why you're not gonna see it over into develop. And then number two, just a good workflow preference especially for photos like this. Can I say that every photo I, I process, I need the 16 bits? No, definitely not. But for a photo like this with a lot of gradations in there, that 16 bit comes in handy. And if you're wondering, do I have to do anything different when I go file export into Lightroom or export from Lightroom as a JPEG? No, because Lightroom's already using that larger, higher quality file. It was when we went into our preferences and we changed how it goes over to Photoshop, uh, that, and then it's already rendered a lower quality file. Now you're saving as a JPEG and yet even lower quality file. So that's why we had the problem there. But from Lightroom, you don't really have to worry about that. Okay, folks, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if uh, wherever you're watching this, whether it's on YouTube, there is a subscribe. If it's on Facebook, you can like. Um, and then, of course, if uh, you don't want to miss any of the videos, make sure you turn on the notifications. There's a little bell on YouTube and there's a little notification area on Facebook where you can do that as well. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you again real soon.